Good morning everybody, it's Josh here. I wanted to make this video to uh, give people a little bit of an insight onto mixing essential oils, at least from what I've found, and I find that sharing this information is critical to us moving forward as a species, if you will. Um, and what I mean by that is that the information that we find, that we discover in our own research, in our own backyards, is often um, hoarded in the past by individuals who want to make a profit. Say, I found a discovery, I'm going to keep it secret uh, and uh, make a profit. And if, I feel like these days people are more open to sharing. Hey, look, I discovered this, it can help you. As opposed to, how can it help me? It's how can it help you? And I'm seeing this more and more, and I just wanted to say thanks Lobo for making that video, you know, it's like, I made a video about how I wanted to start a business, but, you know, I don't expect to get someone making a video helping me, you know, on how to start my business. And it's very, it shows me that people have, um, you know, people are looking out for each other, you know, and there's a group of us on here that really care. Um, but anyway, I have a strong desire to create a product that is of high quality and useful as well. And um, during my searches, I have my little box of essential oils here that I've been experimenting with, and I, I found an issue that I had with um, making an emulsion. And um, if you don't know what an emulsion is, it's where you're suspending particles. Um, uh, when you see emulsified milk, let's say, that's an emulsion. Milk generally separates or used to. Um, when you make an emulsion, it suspends those fat particles in the liquid because you have hydrophobic and hydrophilic particles. We have um, uh, oils which are hydrophobic and this is why when you put a drop of oil in a glass of water it stays as a droplet. Now this becomes an issue when you're making essential oil mixes, okay? You can put essential oils directly in a bottle, sure, and apply them, but some of them are very strong, especially peppermint oil. It can be very damaging to people's skin if they have sensitive skin. And um, you want to dilute them. So generally, I will take a vial about this big, and I put about 10 drops in here with glycerin. Now, this is what I buy, you know, 100% pure vegetable glycerin. Uh, and they use this in a lot of products, and there's a lot of debate about how, you know, damaging it might be used in toothpaste. Some people believe it might be uh, help, uh, help uh, or it might prevent your teeth from you know creating more enamel There's some dispute but as for a skin solutions vegetable glycerin is actually a byproduct of the biofuel process so when they're making ethanol from corn oil a byproduct off the top of it is vegetable glycerin and so it is a product in the byproduct of making oil but it's not an oil in itself it's very very goopy and it's mainly used for soaps, various things like that. Now if you take a little bit of this, you fill, say, a vial up. Now this vial is uh, full most of the way with glycerin, then about five drops, ten drops of peppermint oil, and a couple of other mixtures that I made. The emulsion tends to sit on the top. You can't see it right now. I put blue food coloring in it so I could do my testing, but one of the trickiest things is to get that to mix up, and it just does not mix. If you shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, and it will mix, but eventually it will separate. Now you can add a small amount of alcohol to it. And this is where the alcohol thing comes in, where people say they want alcohol-free dyes, fragrances, perfumes. Um, alcohol is a carrier, but it's also, uh, I don't know if it's an emulsifier exactly, but it does help to dissolve um, alcohol and soap surfactants. You know, both help to dissolve oils into water. Oil will never dissolve into water 100% particles will remain oil, but they break up into, uh, I believe that the tolerance is 5 microns or something, uh, tiny, tiny pieces, so it can still be carried. Basically, you just want to have it separated as much as possible. And uh, <clears throat> so, if you're interested in making your own, your own oils, your own uh, creations, and you have this issue with glycerin, um, you know, you're on the same page as I am. I've, I've been uh, doing some research and found that there's a few new patents out for emulsions, you know, oil in glycerin emulsions, and they're finding that they want to use glycerin as a carrier for these oils, but it's been a problem for a long time, finding something that's healthy to use 
something that's natural and there are plant compounds which do separate these. Basically what you're doing is you're coating the oil droplets with uh, a layer, if you will, or a film that allows them to be separate, to remain separate, to remain in emulsion. Um, and this is all new to me, so if you're a scientist you're probably laughing at me, but uh, uh, it's a very fascinating thing to know. You know, I've taken, you can take a drop of, say, eucalyptus or lavender oil and you take a glass of water and you put a couple drops in there. And I found that the oils will generally sit on the top. Um, in fact, if you take, let's say, a drop of orange oil and put it in a glass of water, it will tend to ball up. And um, the orange oil is very orange. You know, it's the one oil that remains, has an orange color. And um, one of them. And uh, if you put a drop on the top of the water, I found when I add a drop of eucalyptus to that, it instantly dissolved out that orange droplet into a much flatter surface. Then you add a drop of clove oil, and it penetrates the two and it goes right to the bottom. So what I'm saying is that all these different oils have different specific gravities, different viscosities. And so depending on what you're mixing, you're going to have to cater it to something that works for that particular oil. So it will take some experimenting. This is the emulsion I made before I made the video and it's, uh, it's holding well. Um, I think I have a, a plan except for I'm going to have to find a different carrier, a different preservative because I don't want to use alcohol. Although I'm not really opposed to using small amounts of grain alcohol as a preservative. It's just that some people, especially if it's going to be for internal consumption, some people are very sensitive to it. So I think in my line I'll probably have products that are of varying types, you know. But I want something that generally all around is healthy for people, you know. And that's the key. You know, did you know that a few drops of uh, peppermint oil mixed with glycerin as an emulsion and put into capsules is considered the uh, the most efficient and highly desired cure or help for irritable bowel syndrome which I know like two people or two or three people that have that I think and they're taking all kinds of things I'm sure you know getting their weed prescriptions filled whatever but uh, you know peppermint oil you know could be such an easy solution for this um, it's funny because, you know, you look at these oils and they seem like this new age nonsense to a lot of people. And uh, over the years, I've been one of those people who said, you know, come on, okay, they smell pretty, plants smell pretty, they make nice perfumes, they make us feel good, but do they have any real medical benefit? And this is when <clears throat> I started doing my research and found out that they do indeed have medical benefit, which one would be led to say, of course they do. But you can't just say, these things smell good, they must have medical benefit, therefore I'm going to use them and sell them and make money off of them, that kind of thing. Um, you know, I want to know that something's actually working. Um, it's not just a psychological, you know, haha -ha fooling myself. Uh, and even sometimes that's okay, I guess, but anyway, so uh, if anybody else has any words of wisdom on a stable glycerin oil emulsion, I'm listening, um, I'll continue searching. And um, as I find things, I'll try to <laughs> help people out. Uh, I, I know that people who <laughs> watch this video will probably be like, not most, you know, ninety-nine percent of you will have no idea or care about emotions at all. But for the one person who does, you know, uh, let's help each other out. You know, figure this stuff out. It's a brave new world of sharing information, and. Uh, I'm just glad to have people to share it with and people who share it with me. So, peace out.